I've started watching Euphoria so I can give you a psychological perspective of some of the characters. So here's season one, episode one. Rue was diagnosed with a lot of disorders way too young, but the worst thing is they just gave her meds and didn't address the roots of the problem. So she still has the problems, but her meds put her in a fog so she turns to drugs as a way to cope. All the characters are working hard to prove their worth or their status, especially Nate, Jules, and Kat. For example, Kat's decision to give her virginity to a guy who is body shaming her shows just how badly she wants to be accepted. They they all get caught up in this ruthless competition of superficiality and it creates this vicious cycle of insecurity because no matter how good they look or what image they create, it's never enough to satisfy them. They're always looking for the next high, the next hookup, the next bit of attention because they can't find anything that permanently fixes them or makes them feel okay. The families are a mess. The parents are cheating, divorced, addicted, not involved enough in their kid's life, trying to be their kid's friend. Father wounds are a big part of the episode, especially with Nate and Jules. Nate's always trying to prove how much of an alpha he is, but he's really just trying to convince himself. That, along with his explosive anger, is a dead giveaway that something went wrong with his relationship with his dad. Because behind that front he puts up, he's just a scared little boy. Jules hooks up with the older guy because she's probably got her own father wounds because her parents just got divorced. And I like how the writers wove those two father wound themes together by having the older guy turn out to be Nate's dad. 